Hi guys, you're watching Domino Autonomy and this is my first ever time lapse. This is the Rudy box, uh, Rudy from Alpha Investments. And um, I got a lot of requests to make a Rudy box, so here we go. Um, I start off my box with um, just some pencil sketches. Um, I, I never do tracing or anything like that, I just go by eye and I definitely use references to help me out. And um, so yeah, I just go around to sketch everything in. I try to do all of my sketches before I start any paint. That way I don't have to worry about it later. And I go right in and I, I usually do like a lot of layers. So here I'm filling in all of like the base colors and the, I really, I'd say that in every painting I do, there's probably two or three paintings underneath. Um, those are called underpaintings. So an underpainting, it really gives you a chance to figure out where everything is going to go and to make sure all of your proportions are right before you really start working your finer details. Um, I did, um, because I was using like emojis for references for um, the rocket ship and the diamond and um, sort of a meme for the, the meme coin. Um, it, it is more basic shapes that I'm doing, but I still, I still always do underpaintings. And I find that it adds a little bit of dimension to your painting rather than just being like a flat image. So yeah, um, there's the, the meme coin, the classic meme face. So yeah, I'm just going around and, um, doing all the layers. I didn't really know what I was going to do for a background at first, so... I just kind of put in like a base gray. Gray is really easy to um, to go over and change like the color that it's going to be or to add something else later. <clears throat> so yeah, just blocking in the colors on Rudy's collar and his bow. Just pu putting where your shadows are going to be and just your basic shapes. I, I do have to say, since this is my first time-lapse video, um, <laughs> look at how funny the face is until you really, like, it takes a while to get there. But um, what I was going to say is it's amazing how vulnerable I feel sharing this. Not only is this my first time seeing my process, like, of course you have a memory of all the trials and tribulations you have, but this is my first time really seeing the process myself. And I have to say, it makes me feel very vulnerable. I feel like it's something that nobody else has really seen before, let alone myself. You know, maybe I'll take a couple of pictures during the process, but, uh, yeah. So I decided to go with, like, a Matrix-type background for this. He's always dealing with numbers and data and analytics and lots of, like, down-the-rabbit-hole references. So I just thought that was fitting. So this diamond gave me so much trouble. There's actually some parts of it that I edited out. Um, so of course I wanted to use the emojis because, you know, they're the memes for like Wall Street bets, investing, and, you know, rocket ships to the moon. But I just found it to be like too simplistic. And I was wondering like, is this, you know, do I need to make it special? Do I need to add more? Do I need to do more? And sometimes less is more. So I really had to edit that back. And, um... Yeah, I mean, it's not a super hyper-realistic rocket ship or diamond or whatever, but it's classic to the meme, to the emojis. Um, I definitely have like a very painterly style, so I, I wouldn't say that my style is hyper-realistic by any means. Um, you are definitely going to see the, bro the brush strokes. Um, yeah, so as I'm going in on his face here, there's like a million tiny little brush strokes and um, I it looks terrible when you're getting there like a lot of the time in between when I'm watching this it's so hard to watch you know as myself I'm, I'm my worst critic of course but I feel like all of the layers and all of the editing and the fine-tuning it adds dimension I guess rather than just putting in flat colors you know, or are using technology to show me where the colors are going to go and then just sort of coloring it in. I know that's kind of a popular style, but 
um, I guess this is my style. I draw a lot of inspiration from like, uh, I guess Hopper. Um, he does like realistic, um, you know, paintings. There's the classic one of the man at the, the bar counter or the soda counter. And um, it's it's somewhat realistic, but also you can really see the brush strokes. Like it, it's not gonna look like a photo. I really want it to look like a painting, I guess. That's the best way to put it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm doing the meme coin. Uh, I mentioned this briefly in another video, but um, so that's the classic meme there, the laughing guy. And I wanted to just, you know, there's all these different coins coming out right now, like Doge and gosh, there's so many. There's a different one every day, but um, funny thing is I picked this and then I think right after um, he made a video about my first box, a lot of people were in the comments talking about Rudy coin and it was just such a funny coincidence, but um, I just thought that was funny. So yeah, finally starting to get closer on the details of his face. I find that if I'm struggling, sometimes I need to just stop and work on a different area. Maybe just go to bed and wake up with a fresh set of eyes. And I find that helps. You know, you can when you take a step back and really look at it with fresh eyes, you can sort of see where you need to work. And so that's part of the reason why it's you know, I'm not a very fast painter because I am just constantly fine-tuning. The painting is really a journey. And I don't always know 100% what I'm going to do. You know, you just get started and then things sort of come to you. Or maybe things change and you have to change your plan and start over. And So it is, in that sense, it is good to sort of at least have a somewhat of a plan. I do, I do try to, you know have an idea of what all my panels are going to be before I start, but maybe, maybe I'll change a background color, maybe I'll change a background idea, um, things like that. And there's Rudy, starting to finally recognize him. <laughs> it's so funny to see, like, me as the artist, to see my own work in those, in those unfinished uh, times before it, it really gets to its completed version. And the diamond. Back to what I started with. Sometimes less is more. Domino. What a journey, though. I'm so glad that I did this because I really, like tested myself and I did something new and I'm I'm really proud of not only the box but um the learning process you really can't put a value on that so I'm excited to see what the future brings and I'll probably get better at my editing skills as time goes by there it is and um, actually I might as well just uh, put a little plug in this is still live as of the um, when this is posted so there'll be a link in the description box for that if you would like to place a bid I know a lot of people really wanted these Rudy boxes and um, I don't think I'll be doing too many more maybe down the road if there's a ton of people that still really want one but um, I'm gonna be doing some other things in the future here and the certificate of authenticity